Hello to you newcomers and welcome back, my lovely subscribers. This is the Galactic Armory and I am the big baby. As you can see, I've got a lot of different stuff on my table here today. That is because we're going to be trying out some new filament. Well, not exactly new filament, but a new size of filament. What I've got here is one kilogram of regular ceramic white from Xyltech. Now, this was my primary source of 3D printer filament, but they increased their prices on all their filament for like 9 to 15%. So I started looking at other options, <clears throat> and what I came across was their own 5 kilogram roll of PLA option. And what I calculated out was that there is about like over a dollar fifty savings in printer filament per kilogram. So what do I mean by that? Let me consult my notes here. So this is the current price as of the filming today, October 11th, I think. Uh, one kilogram costs $15.85. Now the five kilogram costs $69.95. So price per kilogram, that is $15.85 for the one kilogram, but it's $13.99 for the five kilogram. So there's a significant price difference between the one kilogram and the five kilogram. And of course there's like 15% off uh, coupon codes. I know Uncle Jesse has one, Nico Industries has one. You can use both of those for like 15% off. So what we're looking at is 1347 with that discount code for the one kilogram and 1189 per kilogram of PLA filament for the five kilogram roll. So in an effort to keep my prices low, I'm gonna try switching to the five kilogram roll. Now, that does present some challenges. Let's take a look at the filament roll. This thing is an absolute beast. Just look at how wide it is and how much taller it is compared to the one kilogram roll. It absolutely dwarfs it. I mean, yeah, it's crazy. You'd think, Obviously, you know, five kilograms is bigger than one, but you never really get an appreciation for how much different that is. So, like I said, this presented some challenges. The biggest one is that I can't fit it on the uh, default spool holder. Here is the control mechanism for the CR-10. Normally, I'm able to put these one kilogram rolls, they can just slide right on, and they just spin like that and feed into the machine. This is not going to do that. It's not going to work. So what I've got for you guys today is, I mean, we're gonna try this out. I anticipate it will work or the quality of the filament will be comparable to the one kilogram, but I'm also gonna show you guys or I don't know if it's gonna work. We're gonna test out a solution that I have for the roll not fitting, fitting onto the spool holder. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open. With me, I have a, a hammer. I did not grab a hammer specifically to open this. We'll be using it again later. So please don't make fun of me. Ugh. Okay. Yep. <laughs> that is heavy. All right. What I've got for you guys is this little thing here. Now it doesn't look like a lot, but what it is, it is two 3D printed little, uh, I don't know what to call them, just spool holders they're going to fit together, and in between them, we are going to put some of these. These are little ball bearings. If you guys think way back uh, a year or two ago when fidget spinners were all the rage, these are what was inside. So what you have is you have a inner circle and then an outer circle of metal that spins freely from the inner circle. 
So you can see I'm holding it in place and then I can spin the outside. What we're gonna do is we're going to set the rims of our new giant roll in these guys and hopefully we'll be able to take the default spool off and then just sit this spool on top of the control unit and sit it inside these new spool holders and have it just spin in place as it's sitting down. It's, it's a little weird because you're so used to having your filament rolls hung up on something, but that something would have to be really strong to have to hold this whole thing up. So let me take this off because that's gonna have to happen. And then I will show you guys the assembly. I already, I already assembled this one, so all I need is one more to hold the other side. But as you guys can see, it moves around pretty well along the edge. You know, there's not a lot of friction in there, so it shouldn't have a problem spinning in place. So all the way we've got to do, the, the assembly is really simple. Let's just grab one of the ball bearings Snap it onto, there's little notches on either side. And if it fits in perfectly the first time, great. Otherwise, that's why I brought the hammer. So we'll do the other side now. This one's not going in as easily, so I might have to break out the hammer. But here's a closer look for you guys, you can see it is like half of the assembly and the other half just snaps into there and is held in by friction. So let's get this side all the way inside. Just grab a hammer and then lightly tap it into place. If it doesn't want to go in, it might need a little bit more persuasion. There. Okay, that's one half. Now. We just stick the other side in and do the same thing. Now that we've got them both assembled, I'll show you guys kind of how they're gonna work. So we'll just set them down and then let's get the uh, spool onto them. And look at that. Spins pretty easily. It needed you know, we use the ball bearings because they're very low friction and this thing has to be fed in by the, uh, the little extruder motor on the 3D printer. So we needed low friction because that thing doesn't have a lot of power. But as you can see, it doesn't spin super far, but that's okay. Now we should be able to just whoop, Rest these on top of the control unit. <laughs> I might have to remix these. I did find the, the 3D files for these spool holders on Thingiverse. I'm going to link them in the description. I might need to remix them a little bit so that they can actually like clamp onto the control panel. That would be really cool, but it should be able to just sit there and feed the printer no problem. Yeah, like I'm not having any issue with that. So I've had the new spool and spool holders running for about an hour now and everything's looking pretty good. One more thing I did want to mention is these spool holders are available on Amazon, but they're like 18 bucks for one set. I got the ball bearings that we used in the creation of our own I got like 10 for six bucks. So I'm gonna make four more sets for my four other printers right now. And that's gonna save me quite a bit of money doing it myself instead of buying it at the store, which really is one of the huge benefits of 3D printing. So keep this option in mind if you're looking at some bigger spools of filament that you can make your own spool holders. And it's pretty easy too. So that's about it for this video, guys. If you wanna get your own five, kilogram roll of PLA filament. I'll leave a link to Xylotech's website in the description. Right now, that's the most affordable option as far as bulk 3D printer filament I could find. So 
If you guys are in the market, be sure and check them out. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching and hope to see you again next time.